In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear lower engine mount on this Nissan Altima. This will be located along the bottom of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Safely make your way underneath the vehicle. When you're under this area, typically you will see a plastic skid shield that makes its way across here. Ours is missing. This will be held in place with several push clips. Once you have that out of the way, if you were to find the oil pan, you're also going to be able to find the rearward mount located just above the drain plug. To remove this, there are several bolts that you'll have to dislodge. There's several larger bolts, but you'll also find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt that holds your O2 sensor wiring harness. We're going to continue on by removing that small 10 millimeter headed bolt first. We'll inspect our mounting hardware as we remove it, replace it as necessary. Take hold of that bracket and move it out of your way. At this point, we'll carefully apply some support underneath the oil pan. I like to use a piece of wood so we do not cause any damage. We don't want to lift this up, just apply support. Once you have support under there, we'll continue on to removing all of our 18 millimeter headed bolts, starting with this one right here. You may have to raise or lower the engine to be able to remove this bolt fully. There we are. Now that we have the through bolt out of the way, let's make our way to the other side of this bracket. You're going to find that you have another 18 millimeter headed bolt. This one can be accessed with a long extension all the way over towards your lower control arm. Let's loosen this. Once you can pivot these brackets around, we can continue. Now we can move along to our next three 18 millimeter headed bolts. There's two along the bottom and one along the top. Let's start with the hardest one on the top. Hardest part's just getting your ratchet up in here. Now let's move along to our other two bolts. With this bolt out of the way, let's move along to our final 18 millimeter mounting bolt. This is the last thing holding this mount in place. Let's remove the mount. There it is, friend. With that out of position, let's inspect the mounting areas. Assuming everything looks good, we can continue on with the installation of our brand new rearward mount. We'll take this and put it in position up against the bottom of the engine here and start in all three of those mounting bolts. Get that upper bolt in there. Now that we have started all of them in, continue on by snugging them and then torquing them to 52 foot pounds.
Now we can torque these to that 52 foot pounds. You may find that you have an issue torquing the upper one. Just go ahead and make sure it's nice and snug. Now we can continue on with putting our through bolt through this area. It has to go through all three of these pieces. We have the inboard bracket, the bracket that we just replaced, and then the outboard portion here with the threaded area. We're going to have to align this. You may find that it does not align perfectly. If that's the case, you can either raise or lower the engine as needed, but then also be able to pivot it. If you need to pivot it, go ahead and use a pry bar in between the two mount areas and go ahead and give it a little wiggle. We'll torque this mounting bolt to 76 foot-pounds. Now that we've finished this through bolt, let's make our way to the rearward through bolt. Let's get the torque wrench on there. On the other side here, we'll continue on to our one 10 millimeter headed bolt that holds the O2 sensor bracket in place. Let's just make sure this is nice and snug. Double check to make sure your wire is completely secured so it cannot get burnt or damaged on the hot exhaust when you're driving down the road. Remove your engine support. Okay friend, at this point, what you would wanna do is reinstall the lower shield across this area. As I mentioned, it should be held in place with several push clips. Once you have that in position, go ahead and make your way out from underneath the vehicle. Take your vehicle for a road test and listen for funny noises. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.